What's going on Facebook? Good afternoon, good afternoon. It's your boy Rudy Ortiz, founder and developer of Mind.Millions.com and I just want to do this video today, man, because I'm feeling amazing right now. You know, I, I, I preach this, I tell people all the time, one of the most amazing, amazing opportunities I have in my life right now is to be able to touch lives, change lives, and just, just have that ability to, to give people chills, man, when I tell my story and I tell them how amazing my life has been the last couple of months for the last year and you know what it took for me to get there you know everybody who thinks overnight success exists it's a it's a facade it's 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 bullshit and I want to talk a little bit about Conor McGregor right uh, I was just reading his story last night how 10 years ago he was homeless and you know the story is great you know it's amazing but you know I know people that were homeless last year and, and have been able to change their lives in such a manner or you know just based on dedication and based on determination based on consistency based on the fact that I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired and I don't want to be broke no more and I don't want to be around losers no more and I don't want to be living my life the way I got I got raised to live my life I don't want to live in tradition no more I don't want to live that way no more I'm tired I gotta get up I gotta fight and that's that's the decision that people have to make that's that's the hunger it takes you know sometimes it takes that 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 crying in the mirror I was just telling my boy right now you know mirrors weren't invented for you to see if your clothes fucking match they were invented for you to stare at it and get an understanding of who you are in, in order for you to stare at your worst enemy in life that's what they created the mirror for because do you understand that your worst enemy is you if you wake up in the morning you look in the mirror you're not happy at what you're staring at and your skin is irritating you because you're allergic to yourself dude go jump off the bridge I'm trying to tell you, man, success does not happen overnight. You got to want it. You got to be hungry. You got to push. Every time somebody tells you no, you go keep looking for a yes. Every time somebody tells you it's impossible to be done, you go make it impossible. You go do the impossible. I'm tired of people with their excuses, man. I'm tired of people calling me up and telling me, oh, Rudy, I'm not making anything. I'm at zero. Well, guess what? You were at zero before you called me. So guess what? You're probably at zero because of yourself. Because you're staring at the mirror the wrong way and you're looking at the wrong people. It's all about you. It's all about the dedication. It's all about not going to the birthday party, not going to the nightclub, not smoking the blood, not going to have a drink, not going to a fucking Chili's. When you know you're supposed to be going to spend $100 at a restaurant so you could be around the right people. You got to put yourself in the winner's circle. Last year I was homeless. I got people asking me for handouts right now, asking me for pennies. Rudy, can you lend me a thousand dollars? Rudy, can you lend me this? Rudy, can you help me with that? Guess what, motherfucker? No, I can't help you. You know why I won't help you? Nobody helped me. I decided to help myself because I was tired. I decided to learn. I decided to teach myself. I decided to give my kids a better life. I just got a $3,000 apartment. Last year, I couldn't even afford 900. I was crying about it. Now I got a $3,000 apartment and I'm like, Okay, that's it? This is all I get? Uh, I want more! You gotta be hungry, man. You gotta wanna feed yourself. You gotta understand what it is to put, put fucking gas in your car. It's what makes it go. What gas are you putting into you? What gas are you igniting inside your brain? What are you showing yourself every day? You know, I drive this fucking Maserati, it means nothing to me. Now I want the Lambo! Cause that's how life works, man. People suffer from wanting things they can't have. You only want something because you can't have it. You only want money because you don't have it. Money doesn't buy happiness. But I'll tell you what, it makes you comfortable. And guess what? When you're comfortable and you don't have to worry about bills no more, you get even smarter. That's why the millionaires are outworking the broke people every fucking day. Because it's still a challenge. It's still a challenge. I got millions. I'm ready to keep going. I, wanna, I don't want to stop. I want to keep burning my fuel. I want to keep in reigniting my flame. You understand? You understand what it takes to be successful? It's me waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't care if I went to bed at 3 o'clock. It's me waking up knowing because it's not fair to myself nor my kids that I get up at 11 o'clock in the fucking morning and, talk, and tell myself that I'm broke. It's not fair. If you ever love somebody, if you ever wanted to love somebody, if you ever wanted to tell somebody that, hey, this is what you deserve, this is what I want to give you, what the fuck are you giving them? What are you giving them? You can't just give money and expect that to be okay. 
You gotta give them some type of knowledge, some type of value in life, something that would make sense. Because if I give somebody a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, that's not gonna change your life if you're mentally broken, financially unstable. It's not even gonna change anything. It's gonna make you feel worse about yourself. You know why? Because you're gonna take the ten thousand dollars and you're gonna spend it. And then you're still the same person you were before I gave you the first 10 grand. My friends, this is not a money chase, man. You know, you look at these two guys who just finished making a, a world record, which I think will never, ever be broken. Just because you got two of the most smartest, smartest marketing strategy in the world. They put it together, man. And people are still talking about them. And just so you know, Floyd Mayweather, he's going to die a legend. You're never going to, you're never not going to talk about him. But do you understand that it took him six months of training on a strict diet, never broke his diet. He was very, 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 very disciplined in every single fight. He was just smart. He understood that the promoters were making more money than the fighters. And when he was able to knock out the promoters and go straight into the marketing aspect and build himself as a brand, he took over. You need to learn how to brand yourself. You need to learn how to brand yourself. You need to learn how to brand yourself, not somebody else. I live in Miami, bro, and the number one thing I get in Miami right now is people always talking about somebody else. Oh yeah, my, I know my boy, my boy Rudy drives a Maserati. Yo yeah, my nigga over there drives a Lambo. They're always talking about somebody else. I don't wanna hear about somebody else. Talk to me about you, what do you have? What do you do? What's your specialty, what's your talent? You know, start start understanding yourself. Stop worrying about everybody else. It doesn't exist. When you look in the mirror and you wake up in the morning, feel comfortable in your own skin. Know what you're building for. Know what the fuck you're waking up for. Alex, what's up, my brother? Mark, how are you? Bro, so many, so many, man. There's so many things I can continue to say, man. You know, like I tell people right now, writing a book for me has changed my life dramatically. It wasn't the it wasn't the hundreds of thousands of dollars that I made online right now that changed my life. It's it's the initiative that it took to get there. It's the things that I learned in the process. It's me sitting down and writing a book and and remembering when I was locked up in prison for five years and the things that I did to people and how I'm the most humblest person you can ever meet right now. I cry when I write my book. I have to stop writing because I it, it, it reminds me of what a bad person I used to be. And I can't believe I did these things in life. You won't, you won't understand yourself until you learn yourself. You gotta do some real deep soul searching. You gotta understand what you're breathing for. What's the end result? What's the bigger vision? What can I do right now that'll make today better and make tomorrow even better. How do I do that? What's my what's my stage? What's my five-year goal? People don't understand time. They don't get it. If I start something today, who can I be in two weeks? And if I keep going strong and I keep the consistency up, who will the two weeks take me to be, be in a month? Who will I become? These, my friends, are the questions you need to start asking yourself. When you're sitting down around your friends and you're talking about a bunch of nothing, nothing, you know what nothing is? Yo, yeah, you know what I did yesterday? That shit was cool. Man, I went over here. I had a beer with my boy. We did this. We did that. that bro, I don't want to... What? I don't want to talk to you. What are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about? We're talking about nothing. Listen, if you're not talking about success, if you're not talking about how to get better, if you're not talking about progress, don't talk to me. Get away from me. If you want to tell me you're not making money, if you're going to tell me how broke you are, if you want to tell me about your problems, your bills, your issues, your relationship, stay away from me. I'm here to get rich, baby. I'm here to build a legacy. I'm here to give my kids what I never had. That's what I'm here for. I got a lot of students out there right now that make zero. And I'm being honest. I tell them the truth. You're making zero because of yourself, because the baby shower was more important. My husband, my wife, I gotta go to dinner, I gotta do this, I gotta, everything's a fucking excuse. And then you wanna ask yourself in the morning, God, God, why am I not where I wanna be? You know why you're not where you wanna be? Because you're not placing yourself where you could be, where you're supposed to be. You're not doing the right things. You're not training your mind mentally every single day the way I did. You want what I have, you gotta work like I work. And if I want what they have because this is not enough, I gotta work like they work. 
I gotta push myself there. Ain't nobody gonna take me but me. Ain't nobody giving out handouts no more. 100 grand ain't just gonna fall from the fucking sky because I'm asking for it. People go to church and they use all these religious things, right? Because that gets them by the day for being broke. No offense to the religious people out there, but it's the truth. You want to go to church every Sunday, you want to be religious, you want to go to prayer every Wednesday, you want to do this, but you won't even put that much effort to learn the same way you learn the Bible. It's crazy. And then you're expecting God to praise you with a gift. What? Let me guess what the gift is. Money. No, man. No. Put yourself in the winner's circle. Put yourself around the winners. Put yourself around the people that have what you want. Start learning what they did. Start learning and comparing. Comparing. Understand that you work nine to five, five to nine, nine till you faint. And when you wake up from fainting, you go one more time. You don't stop, man. And I'm just, I'm disignited right now inside because I had a great conversation inside. Some kid who just came from France, you know, his mother's been putting me onto the salon. He's there. He's filling out the application to be the secretary in front of, and I said, do you understand your potential? Do you understand what you're capable of? Do you understand that I'm sitting here right now having this conversation with you because I feel your energy? Do you understand that if I walk in somewhere, no matter where I walk in, you could be sitting by the fucking bathroom in the back, your neck is gonna turn and you know somebody just walked in there. That is energy, my friends. That's energy. Every time I walk into a room, I am a light. I am the light. Fire is only what you see. Come on, man. This doesn't take a genius. It takes ambition. It takes effort. It takes dedication. It takes consistency. It's just like a car, right? Let's, I'll give you an example. Every time you get a brand new car, you should be getting a better car, right? Every year that goes by your life, your life should be getting better, not worse. Every day that wakes up should be better than yesterday, not worse. And if you're going backwards, you're around the wrong people or you're doing something wrong. One year ago, almost, no, now a little bit more, a year and a month ago, I literally had, literally, $8,000 in my account. Maybe even zero. I'm a half a million online right now. And all these people who are out there online right now talking about they're making money, they're doing this, but they're in the same fucking room in their computers with the same background all the time. Don't fool me, baby. Don't fool me. Show me, show me something. Show me something. Show me your businesses. Show me your house. Show me your progress. You can see my progress from a year that you've been watching. You know what's crazy? A year ago, you were probably on the same level I was. And you know what happened? I blew the fuck up. And you're still watching. You're still watching. You're still taking pictures. Hey, I'm here, man. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Don't fool yourself, man. Better yet, if you're a family person, don't fool your family, man. Don't fool your family. Don't make them believe you're really doing something and you ain't doing shit. Stop lying to yourself. That was one of the main things I had to do. I had to realize, re get to a realization Damn, Rudy, you ain't lying to nobody but yourself. You gotta be real. Be real with you. And shit just starts to occur. Doors start to open. Money doesn't exist no more, it's a piece of paper. If I give it to you, you feel good, and if I take it away, you feel terrible. Guess what, if, until you can't conquer that feeling, you get nowhere. Because you're always going to work for a fucking financial purpose. You are trading the value of the most precious thing in the world, which is your time, for a nigga like me who will buy you for 26 for the year. And then you work for me. And then I tell you to clean my toilets for $26,000 a year. I could afford it. You want to work for me? Hey, I'm hiring. That's crazy. That is crazy. I was just telling him inside. I was like, damn, when I was doing network marketing, I figured the whole, the whole craziness of it. I figured it all out. There's always one guy on stage and there's an audience full of people in the back. You know what that meant to me? I got to get really good at what that guy's doing. And don't worry about all these people back here because they're, they're, they don't have what I want. It's him. So you know what I did? I started to talk. I started to make videos. I started to build my content. I started to understand my, my capabilities, my talents. Do you understand yours? Have you figured it out yet? I got people sometimes that tell me, Rudy, I want what you have. Oh, but I don't like cameras. I can't talk. Nah, Rudy, I can't talk in front of people. I'm, I'm shy. I'm, you're going to be broke for the rest of your life.
This is crazy, man. This is logic. This is logic. The world we live in right now is a very fast-paced world. People have websites. Everything's going online. Everything is online. If you're not there, I'm sorry to tell you, you are a zero hero. You're gonna be keep going that way. Your business might fail. And, and I don't, I don't wish that on nobody. That's not what I'm saying right now. You gotta keep up with the pace, man. Especially if you're a little bit older. Misty, how are you? You know, if, if you're a little bit older and and you're just feeling that pressure like you're you're not where you want to be man you got to conquer fear man you got to conquer fear it's like getting on that on that one roller coaster that you were always scared of but you finally did it and by the time you got off the roller coaster you were like holy shit that shit was amazing i want to go again skydiving right uh, when i went skydiving it was one of my one of my biggest i wanted to do it so much in my life i put it on my bucket list right and I'll, I'll never forget it. I had no fear all the way until I, when I got up to the, to the plane and the guy opened the door to jump and the cold breeze from the clouds just hits you. And it was like, holy shit, I'm really about to jump right now. And right before I jumped, I realized I just conquered a fear. And the minute I landed, I wanted to do it over and over and over. That's how life works, my friends. You have to get on stage really quick. You have to put yourself where you're uncomfortable. And the minute I did that, the minute I did that, my life started to change. Everything just started to revolve. Doors started to open. Money just started to fall out of nowhere. I started getting checks from e-commerce, from, from online affiliate marketing. I did digital altitude. I made 30 grand with digital altitude. I didn't know that was possible. Remember, man, I'm not here downgrading anybody for doing what they're doing. All I'm saying is that if you're doing something right now and you're not comfortable where you're at, where you want to be, you better start changing your way of thinking man stinking thinking only got me this far can't get further without knowledge 